Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Erin and I do mostly budgeting videos like the one you're about to see here. tuning in. I hope you guys are having a great weekend. Um, this video I'm pretty excited to do because it was a little bit unexpected and I was like, what can I do with this money? You know, what, what would be the best purpose for this money? And I decided to add to my savings challenge. Now you guys know that we are having new windows installed. I still don't have a precise date for that, but I'm waiting anxiously because I can't wait until that gets finished. And we could use the extra money towards the windows, but to be honest with you, we have a lot of allocations where I would like to place money. So the windows are just one of those. Um, so we are going to use some savings, some sinking funds, and then put the rest of the window expense on our Bank of America card, which still has several months, almost a whole year, um, with zero interest for new purchases. Well, under a year now. But anyways, so I had a bunch of change. I had different little banks and everything that I was able to cash in and, you know, like little ceramic banks. And I have two. I got them both at all these. One's a koala bear and one is a sloth. They're super cute. But anyways, so I was able to, you know, get the bottom off and take all the change to the, um, the coin star at my local giant eagle grocery store. And I was able to get some money back, super excited. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to save it. You know, I didn't miss the change when I was saving it. It was building up for a while. And now I'm just going to put it in dollar form into my savings. So one thing I wanted to show you, if you guys have missed this, is these cute little cash breakdown sticky notes. This is literally a sticky pad. And you can get these on Amazon. So if you're interested in something like this, click my Amazon storefront in the description. And these are listed there but i just wanted to mention this because i'm going to be prepping one of these to get money out um for the rest of the month so you know for my sinking funds and my cash envelopes so these were just hanging out over here and i was like you know what i just want to mention these again these are awesome um and i also wanted to mention before I get into this, that if you are trying to get the printables that I'm giving away for free, please make sure that you're a subscriber because I am going to try and be a little bit more stringent on that and provide those only to subscribers. So I just wanted to mention that because it's a lot of work and it's something that I want to do to give back to my channel supporters. And honestly, I was thinking about doing maybe the YouTube membership program or something like that where I can do extra content, maybe some live chats and additional printables that you can expect to get for free every month. So I'm still gonna, as promised, I'm still gonna be doing my budget kits and those are going to be coming to you every single month. But as far as more unique printables, I might be saving those for something like that, for something like a membership because right now my Etsy is still not up and running. So if you're interested, let me know what you think, but that might be how I handle it moving forward. So this is also my Amazon storefront. It's my little hologram envelope that I'm using to get cash. So I was able to get this straight from Giant Eagle. I didn't have to go to the bank or anything. Coinstar machines just spit out a receipt and then you can take it to the service desk in most cases, and then they'll give you the cash. So I got a total of $114 and there was like some extra coins and stuff that were like, I think they spit out Canadian coins and some that just were, I don't know, they were pretty in, in bad condition. So there was a few left over. Um, but anyways, this is how much cash I was able to get. So I am going to be saving four different folder, four, four different pockets. I'm going to do the $11, the $16, the $41 and the $46. So I have enough here. So let's count it together. I should have $114. So it's 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 1, 105, 110, 11, 12, 13, and 14. So first things first, let's go with the 11. Let's go in order. And that's on this page here. So I'm going to take out a $10 bill and a one 
and I'm going to, fold, how should I fold this one? Mm, I guess I'm still doing it in thirds, but I'm trying to figure out like which part I want to show through the window. So I guess the 10 is fine. So I'm going to tuck that right into the pocket for 11. Now I talked about this. This is something I've been wanting to do for a long time because this viral binder has been going around like crazy. Well, I take that back. These are inserts, but there are kits with this exact same. I thought for a second, I thought that I bought this together, but I think I bought the inserts separately. So if you have an A6 binder and you just need the inserts, you can get those on Amazon. Everything is linked below in my Amazon storefront. But I just wanted to mention that because I swear I thought I bought this as a kit, but I don't think I did. I bought it separately. I have bought so many things recently on Amazon over the past month, not so many, but you know, things for like my videos and stuff. And um, I just wanted to make sure that I let you guys know that this, as far as I remember, was not a kit. So, um, all right, 16. So we have a 10, a five and a one. But anyways, so, so many people have been working on this challenge for like the longest time and I'm totally late to the party, but I wanted to start it. So here we are and I don't know what I'm going to do with this money if I can, if I'm lucky enough to be able to fill up this entire, um, the, the entire binder because these go one through a hundred. So I think you would have quite a bit of money. I didn't even figure that out. How much money would you have when this is over? I would have to, I got to look into that. Now we're going to do 41. So 20, 40 and one. So we have that here and I'm excited. I'm kind of doing some random like I'm not doing it in order and that's that's kind of like the fun thing about it is that you don't have to do this in order you can do it whenever you have you know a set amount let's see oh I did the 40 already now we're gonna do 41 but I don't know what I'm gonna do with this when I'm done just save it I don't know and now I'm gonna do the 46 so 20 45 and 6 so like I said it goes from one dollar to a hundred dollars and everything in between. So turn the page, here we go. It's actually very satisfying to be able to check these off. It's kind of like a list, you know, like the more you accomplish, the more you can check off. And it's like the more you save with this, the more of these you can fill up. Like it's coming together. Like I just started it, but I feel like it's already coming together. I love it so much. Um, I just want it to be like, look perfect. All right, so I have one through four, and then I have 11, 16, uh, 40, 41, and 46. I love it, I love it so much. So that's it, I love it. I'm really coming along with that, I feel like. Um, let's figure it out though. Well, actually, I don't know. I don't want to do that right now. Does anybody know how much this, how much you have at the end of this? Um, because I, I guess I didn't really figure that out. I'm just like, oh, it's the one through a hundred challenge. But how much do you have when this is done? But anyways, uh, I can't wait till it gets like fat with all these little stacks in it. This is so exciting. So thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. And then one other thing I can show you is this little book. Um fiction. So August 9th through fog, like I don't understand the title. Um, Catherine Scanlon is the author. I picked this up at the Dollar Tree and it's supposed to be like some kind of journal, like some kind of journal that somebody found. Obviously it's fiction, but it's very short and like look at the pages. Like there's hardly anything on here. You could read it in five minutes. But anyways, I want to read this. Um, I've never heard of her as an author, but anyways, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to this next five minutes. I want to read this and see what it's all about. But like I said, it's supposed to be like somebody's journal that they stumbled upon and look how thin it is. It's so tiny. But anyways, if your Dollar Tree has a good book section, you guys might be able to pick this up too because it looks intriguing. I don't know. It looks different, but, um, that's it. So thank you so much for watching. Thanks for spending some time with me. And I'm going to try to continue my momentum of a video a day for July. Um, and 
just let me know how you're doing in the comments and let me know what your feedback is about the printables a membership situation I don't know because I have so many that I could be releasing but I'm hesitant because I'm still not sure like where I'm going with it now the budget kits don't worry those will be coming for September October November and December August is already out check the description below if you didn't already get it it's the best one I've done so far in my opinion so all right guys thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video